How to set up a chat server on Freedombox with Matrix and Riot. Step 1. Install apps on Freedombox. So the first app you're going to install is Matrix. You're just going to go to the Apps page and find Matrix Synapse. And here you're just going to click Install. And after a few minutes the installation will complete. So we're just going to skip ahead to show you that the application has installed. Next, we're going to go to the Systems tab and we're going to go click on Dynamic DNS. Same procedure, just click Install and this installation will be even faster. Alright, so once that's done, we finished the installation step. Step 2 is configuring a free domain name. So the domain name that you're going to get for free will look something like this, demo4matrix.freedombox.rocks. We give free subdomains at freedombox.rocks. So what you get to change is the text in place of demo for matrix. So the first step is go to the dynamic DNS client page and uh, click on the link to GNU DIP. Here we're going to register an account and we're going to register it at freedombox.rocks. So we're going to pick the host name at the top, demo for matrix, and we're going to create an account with an email address and password. Okay, so once you register that, you'll see that the registration was successful. So we're going to go back to, to the login page and we're going to log in using the account that we just created, demo for matrix, freedombox.rocks, and your password. Okay, so we're going to skip what the login screen looks like just so you don't see my IP address. And, and you'll see here, we just entered all of that information into the configuration page on Dynamic DNS. So we're configuring the, uh, the uh, domain name and we're going to enter this URL here to look up the public IP address just in case your Freedom Box is connected to a router. Okay, so the configuration has updated successfully. Okay, so now we're going to test it, demo for matrix.freedombox.rocks, and let's see if the Freedom Box redirects. And it looks like it does. All we have to do is go through the adding of an exception, as usual, and here we are. Just as a side note, you can get rid of that security warning in your browser just by going to the Let's Encrypt app from the system menu and scrolling down and clicking Obtain right next to the domain name that you just set. Uh, but that's something you can do on your own time. We're not going to cover the entire process in this video. Uh, we can go to the login page and we'll just fast forward ahead and show you uh, that I've logged in and um, we can configure matrix now. So let's go to the matrix screen, scroll down and select a domain. So we're going to scroll to the domain that we've picked, demo for matrix .freedombox.rocks, and we're going to click update setup. And it's that easy. So now we can see on the main page for Matrix, Matrix is running. Um, and that's that. Now, the next thing that you do before you can use Matrix is enable public registration. This is so your, your friends can create accounts on your server. Step three, configure Riot chat client app. So now that we've done this, we're going to click on the link on Matrix to Riot. Now, Riot is the client application, and the client application is available on your browser as a desktop app, in the App Store, Google Play Store, and on F-Droid. Uh, for this, we're going to look at the browser web app. So let's open that in another tab. And here's the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an account and we're going to click on the advanced other option so that we can set our own server. Make sure that you retain HTTPS and just type in your server name. For me, that's demo for matrix dot freedom box dot rocks. And we're going to keep the identity server URL the same and just click next. And now we're going to create a username and password. Uh, so the username that I'm going to select here is a and we're going to enter the password. And I'm not going to enter an email. Um, that's an option you have. We get a warning about entering an email, so I'm just going to select continue. Okay, now we're going to go back to the uh, sign in page for Matrix, uh, for Riot, and we're, we're going to type in the home server URL again demo for matrix.freedombox.rocks. And we are going to enter in our username and password. Okay, and there you have it. 
we've now accessed our matrix server using the riot chat application and here's what a chat room looks like um, so now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to open a new chat room and let, let's just name this the test room so now we've just created a new chat room there's nobody in it yet so we're going to the first thing we're going to do is change the settings going to security and privacy so that we can turn encryption on with one switch it's turned on now there's a separate option to never send encrypted messages to unverified devices i'm not going to uh, turn that one on um, but you can do that if you want there are other settings to take a look at uh, these are really really useful depending on the purpose of the, the chat room okay so now we have encryption turned on in this room next thing we need to do is invite somebody to it so i created another user using the riot application on my android smartphone and i named that user carol so we're going to invite carol at carol colon demo for matrix dot freedom box dot rocks that's how we know what server she registered on and we're just going to send the invitation now carol got the invitation on the smartphone and we just have to wait for her to accept the invitation okay it looks like she accepted so now carol is in the room let's type a message to carol and see what happens okay so the message wasn't sent due to an unknown device being present so we're just gonna uh, send it anyway and that's because we know who Carol is and we sent her an invitation so now Carol is typing we get the real-time feedback showing that she's typing and uh, it looks like Carol said hello but we get this warning in the margin now that warning is because this end-to-end uh, -end encryption message wasn't verified. So we're just going to verify that uh, Carol is who she says she is. Just following the prompts, we're just going to click OK. Uh, and that's that. So now when Carol and I uh, send messages to each other, we won't be seeing that same warning again. So Carol is typing a new message. This time the message doesn't have the warning. So that's how we know that it worked. So now we're also going to demo the phone call option. So just clicking the phone logo at the bottom, I'm now calling Carol in the chat room. And um, we'll get a notification once she picks up. There she is. Carol answered the call. And Carol ended the call. So it's just that easy. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Give it a try today.